India to a great degree in the name of family planning is state control of uh, people's fertility. The high dependence on sterilization, you can see uh, sorry, this second chart which tells you that the dominant method of contraception in the country is female sterilization. One shot deal after which the method cannot be reversed does not need repeated service provision. But in effect, people lose control over their own fertility once they are sterilized. Until they are sterilized also, they lack control because other methods are not offered. So what we have done in our uh, experiment is to see that we offer alternatives beyond sterilization. You are aware that the only method of contraception that can prove fatal is the operative method. And we find that the government has this fondness. Targets are given out for sterilization, not for the other methods. And almost every single health worker is running around trying to find cases to meet those particular targets. In the process, not talking about other options. So you'll see that the National Family Health Survey also shows you that female sterilization, you can see the middle, is the most used method. So what have we done here? We made pregnancy testing, self-testing of pregnancy the basis of our intervention. A two-minute pregnancy test handed over to women for them to do it themselves with a pictorial card. A woman conducts the test and then there are four possibilities. The test is going to be positive or negative and she's going to be happy or unhappy about it. And that will lead to some options. She may need antenatal care for a wanted pregnancy, an abortion for an unwanted pregnancy or she may be not conceiving, needs infertility services. And if she is very relieved at not being pregnant, clearly she might need contraception. And so, this is not seen on this chart. We have come up with the notion of having entrepreneurs, women in villages who go around offering information, advice, as well as pregnancy tests, condoms, oral pills, emergency pills, sanitary napkins and a few other things at very low cost to other women like them. And these women are called uh, Tarumi Sakis. Uh, these are the products that they give out, they sell them and the margin is kept by the women themselves and that ensures both some small income for them and that they are accountable to their customers rather than to a grant making organization and an NGO like us. Now I am just giving you very quick results. What did they distribute over a two year period that we have data on from 2015 to 2017? You can clearly see that the sale of pregnancy tests these bands are urban, semi-urban, near and remote rural areas. We won't go into that detail. You see that slump after quarter six, that's when our Prime Minister announced demonetization. And we're still trying to recover from the lack of cash in the villages, which meant that they could not purchase pregnancy tests. One pregnancy test cost 30 rupees. The entrepreneur buys it from us for 5 rupees, the 25 rupees is the margin. And the cheapest brand in the market is 50 rupees in the chemist shop. So both they get it close to them in the village and uh, it is cheaper. This is all the other methods, the sanitary pads, emergency pills, condoms, oral pills and the pregnancy kit. And you can clearly see the effects of demonetization. As a matter of fact, we have them for several things including calls to our clinics. They have the second element of the intervention is the toll free number which they can call. The third is that they can come to a clinic and the biggest thing they come for is abortion. Now if you don't have abortion with the family planning service, you know, just forget about providing reproductive health service. It is legal in this country. And we did a baseline and an endline survey. See the first line. It shows that the use of reversible methods of contraception went up from 24% to 38%, a significant increase. And self-testing for pregnancy, the fourth line, went up from 17% to 25%. In two years, this is a notable increase. This was done by a well-controlled survey. Otherwise, we don't know who the users are. You see that the condom has become the most important method used by young couples, not sterilization, which I think is a big uh, change. Uh, these are the figures. You see 23% use in the urban areas. In the rural areas, it is still sterilization among young couples. People with no children or one child have started using the method. And what are the sources? You will find that it is still the chemist shop, but increasingly these entrepreneurs are getting them out. I will end with telling you about a product called Mukti. We called it Mukti. Uh, we have Mukti Bosco here in the audience. It is a hormonal intrauterine system. It is like an IUD but does not have any copper, does not cause cramps. It reduces heavy menstrual bleeding. The primary reason for which many women are pushed into hysterectomy by very, very eager doctors making money. 
and the second is that it is a five year contraceptive and therefore can avoid the need for a sterilization operation and after five years it can be repeated and so there are alternatives to one you know one alternative to both contraception and sterilization there's a brochure at the back on both of these items if you are interested thank you thank you does anybody have any questions is, is there is there anything so you've given us this really interesting uh, presentation is there anything you want to ask of them what's the connection <laughs> I mean, the things we are hearing about somehow seems to exclude some of the issues I've talked of. And they're very, very fundamental to young men and young women. The issue of their reproductive rights and how they manage their own fertility rather than having someone either from the government or private sector dictating it for them. And I think within that, we must empower them to take self-control. Self-help groups are about people helping themselves. This is self-help of sorts. This is self-control of fertility. You want to reduce weight, you stand on the weighing scale regularly, you do something about it. You want to control your fertility, keep measuring yourself, find out if you are pregnant or not, you do something about it. Otherwise, you will you continue to have women you know, waiting for God to give them a pregnancy or avoid one. I think this is therefore a measure of empowerment. Anyone interested in you know, taking this up, please uh, contact us. So by a show of hands, how many, to those of you who are microfinance organizations, to how many of those of you is this relevant? By a show of hands. One, two, <laughs> so there's only one organization that is dealing with the uh, fertility issues? Okay, roll it over. All right, who's, who's next, DSK? Yeah, I hope I'm now. Only thing is, uh -huh. uh, those who had an opportunity to present in the school room, they did not. So others, first let us finish others. So any, any volunteers who want to talk about their work, but help on the platform of microfinance. Any volunteers? Uh -huh. uh, and... Okay. After lunch, this is really, really the critical part where everyone goes off to sleep. I'll try and make it as uh, encouraging as it can be. So, uh, first of all, is I am representing Sesame Workshop, and many. Of